What's up, barbarians? Socon here. This video is about efficiency. Uh, I'm going to talk about three things for efficiency. The first one is going to be the one, the only one that matters any anymore. So when I'm done talking about that, you can probably shut off the video. If you're interested about some efficient ways that I've played the game, or people, other people have played with me have played the game, I'm going to go over those lastly. Um, but they don't matter too much anymore. No, no one's going to do those anymore. Um, one. So the main thing right now, mid 30 GRs. Okay, everyone knows they're the most efficient experience. Great. Uh, let's say you have a long time to play. Let's say you don't have a job. Maybe all you do is play this game, like me. Um, and you're going to be on for 12 hours. Grinding out. Just grinding out. Just grinding out. Grinding grind, grind out. That EXP. Pools. So you're in a group, you got a ZDPS. You got a ZDPS, maybe you got a Demon Hunter, you probably got a Barb, and a Monk and a Seder, you might have that. Whatever you got, you got some ZDPS. Bonus experience, 25%. Maybe the Demon Hunters don't care about it, because they die. Okay, that's great. Well, maybe you're a Barb. So you're a Barb, like me. You play Barb, you're a Barb. If you're not a Barb, I don't really care if you watch my videos. Because the video is for barbs. So you're a barb. Okay. You want to make sure you get your pool the whole time. So you're just maximizing your experience. You don't want the group to ever stop. To have to find pools. You know. You don't sit in town and ask. Hey I need a pool. Oh, this is what you do. So. The rift. You got four people in your group. You're doing mid 30s. So you get about 150 shards. 160 shards. Every every greater rift. You got one guy with keys in the group. Open in the rifts. Okay, sometimes people forget to get their key from Urshi. You know, there's some downtime there. There's a 30 second cooldown, but then there's also waiting for the guy putting in the keys to put in the keys. So the only time you don't do this is when you are the guy putting in the keys. When you're not, you got time between any and every greater rift to look for pools. You only need to spend shards at Kadala once every three. So what I do while I'm playing as a what am I nine eighty one now? Nine eighty one. This is what I do. I try to start off with a pool in, in in the first place, but you only need one. As soon as that first greater rift is over, I get my key from Urshi and I just teleport straight to where I want to find a pool. Any place in the game you've ever seen a shrine, a health pool or an experience pool, that can be an experience pool. So you start off the places you usually see them. I'm not going to go over that. That information is out there. And you just you just bag ass there. You know, you, you beeline straight there. You find it, you tell the group. Maybe they teleport to you and get it. Or whatever. You get your pool. You've got your pool. Now this is what you do. You go in that GR. When you're out looking for the pool or whatever, the person putting the keys, that request screen is going to come up. You take the request. You don't hold up the group. You take the request. Even if you don't find the pool, you find the pool, whatever. You find the pool, you tell the group. Next GR. Okay, you don't, you know, the end of the next GR. Now you get like 320 shards or 330 or whatever it is. You go look for another pool. You find the next pool, all right? Now, you just leave it there. You go find the next. And you keep track of a couple pools that you've got. Now, depending on your group, if you got one demon hunter dying five times every rift, maybe you don't want to grab a pool every rift. Or maybe you do. But you, you line up some pools. You line up like three or four pools during the next course of GRs. And that way when you die, when you die, you know where a pool is. You always tell your group, though, you know, when, you, when you're going to click a pool, you always tell them to come. But you got time to line up those pools. After the third GR, then you need to salvage, shard, you know, spend your shards, you know, delete all your stuff, ID or whatever. You do that during, you know, on every third, on every third greater rift. That, that's when you use that time, and then then you can ensure that no one wants to remake the game to find pools. They're not stopping the whole group to find pools. One person's not looking for a pool while everyone's sitting on their hands in town because the ZDPS, you know, he stacked up ten pools with the sister quest in, in adventure mode. He doesn't care. <laughs> that dude doesn't care. So you don't want to do that. You know, it's fast and efficient for either everyone to look for a pool or no one to look for a pool. But the most efficient thing is 
for you to do as a barb is, you know, line up some pools. Have some pools. Always have your pool. You know, if people don't want their pool, whatever. That's their business. They don't want to look for a pool. And the most efficient thing is for the only person to stay in town is the person putting in the keys. And all three other players look for the pool. But I've been in a lot of groups. And people don't want to do that. You know, usually you're a group with a couple demon hunters. They get, like, a pretty high chance of dropping, like, flies, which is what they do. Uh, so, they're probably not going to look for a pool. Just my experience. Um, but, you can line up those pools as a barb, and that's the, uh, that, that's the most efficient thing that you, that you can do. That's the way I play. Always have my pool. I'll play, you know, I'll stay in the same game. I can find 20 pools in that game during the course of freaking playing for, like, 12 hours, getting five levels in a day. You know, I'll just, we'll just hammer it out nonstop. Until everyone's keys are gone. <laughs> you know, we might take a small break while, while we're swapping to the next person to use their keys. So the only time I don't have a pool is maybe when I'm the person putting the keys in and, and no one else wants to search. Two things we've done in the past. You know, I should have said at the very beginning of the video, you know, if you bought... A lot of people bought. If you bought, you know, you're, you're not going to understand anything I'm saying. Cause you don't care. You're going to get online, you're going to play your character for three hours, and you're turn your bot for eight hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what these guys do. There's a lot of them that do it in, in the top end. A ton of people. It's ridiculous. But, it, you know, if you bought, you probably stopped listening to my video or not have even played it. Never even played my video. So... You know, you're not even going to understand. It's going to sound like a different language, what I'm about to say here. But two things I used to do in the past is, you know, this is not stuff you're going to use anymore. But it might give you some ideas of how, you know, you can utilize your time. Because it's a grind. It's a grind to Paragon 800. It's a grind to Paragon 1000. Experience a lot faster now. But in the past, it was a grind. You, if you're going to play 12 hours a day or 16 hours a day, or whatever that some of these guys are doing... You don't want to get on and waste two hours out of your 16 or out of your 12 or whatever. T6 riffs. T6 riffs. How fast were people, were people clearing those? Three minutes, two minutes, to four minutes before this latest patch, before 2.1.2. Everyone was doing riffs, right? So you're doing those riffs. Maybe you're ending them on the Rift Guardian. Maybe you're clearing to the exit. Okay, what's happening? Every three minutes, you get 30 seconds. You're sitting in town. You get 30 seconds, you're sitting in town, nothing's happening, you're getting no experience. Some of these guys, doing 100, 150 riffs a day, you multiply that 30 seconds by 100, that, uh, that's 50 minutes. By 200, you know, that, that that's that's an hour, hour and 40 minutes. That That's a significant amount of time during your day. So what we would do, what I would do, and some people didn't care, and when I said, hey, you know, we're going to do this rotate clothes, we're going to do this rotate clothes, Oh, I don't want to do that. No, you know, those guys they didn't care because they bought it. But the people that you know they want to get on, they want to bust it out. Those people are like, "Yeah, man, <laughs> you on rotate clothes? Let's do this. Let's do this. Rotate clothes." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get those people that want to do this things fast and efficient, and they're ready to knock it out. So what we would do is maybe we're closing out the Rift Guardian. You know, after after we've been doing it for a long time, it was. You know, who could close this rift for, you know, closest to the exit with still 30 seconds left for people to kill. So what would happen is you get four people in the group, you get about 100 shards every rift. So you only need to spend those shards once every four rifts. So we'd have, you know, it, let's say we had A, B, C, and D in the, in the group, right? Well, we, we've been playing for a while, we've been doing this rotate thing for a while. So it, it gets A's turn. A's turn, it's his turn to close the rift. So as soon as that group's closing it, after the Rift Guardian or whatever, he goes to town as soon as the Rift Guardian is dead. We'll, we'll, we'll say we're closing it as soon as the Rift Guardian is dead. He goes to town as soon as the Rift Guardian is dead, because at this point, before this patch, no ancient legs, we, we didn't need to find anything. We didn't care if legendaries draw. We had everything. So, dude goes to town, he closes the rift. At that point, he, he hadn't closed the rift for four rifts. You know, this is his fourth one. He's got 400 shards, so he spends his shards. He, you know, he, he salvages his items. He IDs all the stuff he found in the last four rifts. And then, as soon as that rift closes, he puts in the next key and has it open. So, during that 30 seconds that that rift is closing, 
everyone else, they're still in the rift killing as fast as they can. And that person in town, he's getting experience because experience is shared as long as you kill in the rift with someone. And, and basically, you do this, if you're playing for 12 hours a day for months, that extra 50 to fifty minutes to, to an hour and 40 minutes of experience you weren't getting before you did this, you, you're now getting because it's non-stop killing the entire time. Everyone in the group is killing. There's no 30 seconds of dead time, no one doing nothing. And this was my idea. Okay, an, uh, another idea. But I, I hope I explained that enough. I, th I think it was pretty brief and fast um, about explaining that. Every four, you know, it just synergizes with the group and enables you to non-stop kill while you're doing T6 riffs. Yeah, you missed some legs, but you missed some legs doing split bounties, right? So it doesn't really matter. Third item on the list, bounties. So we get to the point, you know, you play for a long time, bounties, you get to the point you don't need anything from the caches. We didn't need anything from the caches, but we still needed keys. Some of us still needed keys to run rifts, because we're running 100 or whatever in a day. People would get on normal mode, run a bunch of normal, you know, normal bounties just to get the rift fragments. So they're doing a couple hours each day, getting several hundred keys, and during that time, they're getting horrible experience just to get the Rift Fragments so they can run T6 Rifts, so they can get a good experience. So, an idea I came up with, which I ran a little bit, but it just... It just, uh, it's hard to get people to do it and explain it to them. But what we would do is we'd have four people in the group, right? We'd have four people. Now, three people were runners. In every game, you had... You, you would always have, in, in Act 1, 2, and 3, a level 2 clear. Like, you know, go to level 2 of this cave, clear all the mobs in it. And, and those those bounties are worth 82 million experience. You always had 3. Sometimes you had 4, always had 3. Sometimes not 4. So, 3 people would, would go to, you know, clear Scavenger's Den, clear Den of the Fallen. Whoever was assigned to each act, you, you know, one person, let's say we had A, B, C, and D again. A was assigned to Act 1, B, Act 2, C, Act 3. They would go to that bounty, they would run to the second level of that bounty, and then they would just teleport to town. After that, you don't use your tel town teleport anymore. You save that town portal. Now, the D player, the fourth player, meanwhile, he just goes to whatever is the easiest. After a while, they know. They kind of know what all the bounties are, the fastest and easiest. That fourth player, he just starts off in Act 1. He does a bounty. He works on it. Okay? He does a bounty in Act 1, then he does a bounty in Act 2, then he does a bounty in Act 3. Now, A, B, C, A, B, and C players, they run to their level 2, right? They go to town. As soon as they go to town, they teleport to player D. And wherever he's at, when, when they get to him, they just, they just follow him. They follow him until he's done with the Act 3 bounty that he's doing. And then he goes to town. As soon as he goes to town, player A, Act 1, he takes his portal back to level 2. He takes his portal back to level 2, everyone goes on, on to him. They clear that level 2, then everyone goes back to town. Meanwhile, you know, player B and C, they don't use their town portal, they use their map to teleport to town, so they still have their level 2 teleports, just like you would do, like, Key Wardens or something. Then they go to, then they, player B, they, go, they clear his level 2. Player C, they clear his level 2. So, you get 82 million bounty, 82 million bounty, 82 million bounty. Now, why did player D do an extra, extra bounty in each act? Well, you don't get a, you don't get a Rift Keystone Fragment for the first bounty completed in each act, so you need to do two. So player D, since there isn't, since there isn't always four level two clears, you know, sometimes there is, but usually it's not four of them. Player D, that was like the perfect thing for him to do. <laughs> the perfect thing for him to do. He just starts another axe. Those dudes run there, and, and the faster you can, you can get to your level two, and then can then teleport to player D and help him finish those. The faster you start getting experience, because at the beginning you were just running. So that's how we would do bounties. So we get good experience while doing bounties and rift fragments. Instead of doing bounties on normal and getting jacked for experience for hours. But again, you know, like I said earlier, if you bought, <laughs> you don't care about running things efficiently. Because it doesn't matter. Because you bought. 
but if this gave you guys a couple ideas of how things can be run efficient, you know, I, I've played hours of this game, gotten way better experience than, than other people doing, doing other things. You know, that's just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> there's efficient ways to do things, you know, there's graduate level <laughs> efficient ways to do things, and then there's, you know, things everyone else does, or, or things that, um, just don't make sense if you don't actually play the game.